Hi everybody, now I am going to teach you the reduction of quadratic form into canonical form by orthogonal transformation. Before we move on to the problems, first you should know what is quadratic form. Quadratic form. An expression in which all the terms are of degree two is called quadratic form. So this is what you mean by quadratic form. An expression in which all the terms are of degree 2 is called quadratic form. For example, suppose if we take 2x square minus 3xy plus 4y square. You can check from this. Look at the first term. You have degree 2. And the second term, this is of degree 1, degree 1 which will give you degree 2 and again the third term contains degree 2. Therefore, all the terms should have degree 2 then only it is called quadratic form. So, we consider this example in two variables. This is the quadratic form in two variables. Now, I am going to show you the quadratic form in three variables. Suppose, consider the quadratic form in three variables then the corresponding matrix the corresponding matrix in three variables can be written as coefficient of x1 square 1 by 2 coefficient of x1 x2 1 by 2 coefficient of x1, x3 and similarly this will be 1 by 2 coefficient of x2, x1 and here it is coefficient of x2 square and 1 by 2 coefficient of x2, x3 and similarly here 1 by 2 coefficient of x3, x1, 1 by 2 coefficient of x3, x2 and coefficient of x3 square. So this is the corresponding matrix in three variables. You can look at this matrix which is very very important for the reduction form. You, you can see the diagonal should be the coefficient of x1 square, x2 square, x3 square. Whereas the rest of the elements is half of this. So always to reduce the quadratic form into canonical form, it should be a symmetric matrix. What do you mean by the symmetric matrix? Here from the matrix itself you can see that x2, x1 which is equals to x1, x2 and similarly x3, x1 should be equal to x1, x3, so on. So, always whenever the reduction of quadratic form into canonical form, it should be a symmetric matrix. Now, the next definition is canonical form, which is very, very important. Canonical form. A quadratic form a quadratic form in which all the terms are square terms is called the canonical form is called canonical form. So, you can see the difference between the quadratic form and the 
canonical form see here here all the matrix every each and every uh, expression that is each and every term in an expression should be of degree 2 whereas in canonical form all the terms should be the square terms for example it should be like 4x square plus 9y square plus 16z square so you can see each and every term is a square term here this is the difference between quadratic and the canonical form now this is one of the main and important questions in matrices in matrices for 16 mark they will ask you find the reduction of quadratic form into canonical form also they will ask you to find the nature of the roots which is very very important so now we are going to see the nature of the roots after finding out the quadratic form and canonical form we need to find the nature of the roots in nature of the roots there are three types are there that is rank and then index of the quadratic form signature of the quadratic form first thing rank so these definitions even they will be asking it for two marks write down the nature of the roots or else write define quadratic form and canonical form so first rank the number of positive and negative eigenvalues of the matrix A eigenvalues of A is called the is called the rank of the matrix A rank of the matrix A so you need to check if suppose if it is a 3 by 3 matrix then you will be getting 3 eigenvalues then we call the rank as 3 if suppose if some of the problems in some problems we may get the rank as 2 or 1 how the eigenvalues may be 0 also in those cases if the any one of the eigenvalues among the 3 is 0 then we call the rank as 2 if any two eigenvalues are 0 then we call the rank as 1 so this is how you need to find the rank this is one of the nature of the roots and the next one is index of the quadratic form index of the quadratic form that is the number of positive square terms the number of positive square terms in the canonical form in the canonical form is called as index of the quadratic form suppose for example if x1 square minus 3 x2 square plus x3 square if this is what you got it as a canonical form you can see from the question I mean from this itself we can say that this is all the terms are positive square terms and we have got only one negative square term therefore here the index will be 2 so what is it the number of positive square terms the number of only the positive square terms in the canonical form is called as the index of the quadratic form so from the question we can say only two positive square terms we have got therefore the index is 2 here the next one is signature signature of the quadratic form 
the difference between the the difference between the positive and the negative square terms and the negative square terms are called signature of the in quadratic form signature of quadratic form so from the previous example itself we can say signature of the quadratic form so this is the canonical form now from this we can say how many positive square terms are here two and how many negative square terms are here one so the difference will be one therefore here the signature is one so this is how you need to find the nature of the roots which is very very important for reduction of quadratic form into canonical form